welcome back to my channel. My name is Bricia. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And if you're not new, hello, welcome back. So I'm here with my sister. Hey guys. So yeah, we're going to be doing a mukbang, mukbang today, so I'm super excited. Um, we decided to go with like the Italian vibe, which is unfortunate because the restaurant that we wanted to go to, it's, they open, the good ones open at 4. Yeah. So we ended up getting like oregano's, which is our first time trying it, so it's kind of like a review, I guess, as well. And yeah, we're going to be doing Q&A. We asked you guys on Instagram to ask us a few questions and... Yeah, I'm excited because you guys asked some pretty good questions. Hello. I hope you guys have one ready to spark up with Hello. us. Mom. I'm just going to have my butt right after joy. Do you want red or this one? I want that one. I think it's Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. This? Oh. Damn, I poured a big ass can of these you glasses guys, are big. Can we talk about how huge these glasses are? I was like, whoa! I have wine glasses. They're huge. Like, Look at She's like, we don't have to fill it up all the way. It's like yeah. a fishbowl. Cheers. 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 Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to like just just smoke with you guys, drink, eat, talk, um, just and spice out. You go first. I want to see what people ask you. Or should we start with me? Oh, so I, I posted on my page and Risa posted on her page. So hopefully we kind of get a mix of different questions. Favorite way to channel your inner divine feminine energy? Um, uh, I don't know how to really, like, I just feel like it, either you it comes with you or you, it doesn't. And I just feel like naturally, like, mm. I've always been very, like, feminine. Like, I like to get ready, like... I know a lot of girls don't like getting ready every day and have the energy to do your hair, etc. People always ask me, like, how do I have the energy to do that? And, like, I just like it. Like, I just, I've always liked it. Um, so I feel like it just depends on you. Yeah, same. I feel like I can agree with that a lot. You know, maybe when you're getting ready, even if I'm not getting ready and I'm just my natural self, like, literally, I just feel that's me being in touch with my feminine side, like, all natural like every woman is. I feel like that's the best, so. Yeah. Uh, we, we, people, we always, people always ask if we have like twin superpowers or something, like, but, no, I feel like, I feel like when you grow up with someone, you, you kind of, you kind of like pick up on certain things, so if we look at each other, I feel like we can know what we're, like, like if we're in a room and someone does something, we look at each other, I feel like we both know what we're thinking about, what just happened, or. We're linked. Yeah. But I don't think I could, I don't, like, well, I feel like I feel like everyone's emotion, but I feel like not in a superpower way, like, I don't know how to explain it. But. Yeah, it's kind of like a link kind of thing, or sometimes we might be thinking the same thing, or be like, oh, I was just about to say that, or like, oh, I totally feel the same way. I just think, yeah, yeah. like, we just grew up a lot of the same, so we have a lot in common, so we, in ways, sometimes we can think of it. I don't want to put my wine glass here because I feel like it's going to block the whole thing. thing. It's so big. <laughs> what do you do when you're emotionally overwhelmed? Uh, joint. <laughs> I smoke a joint for sure. Um, I didn't do now <laughs> is probably like just step away and breathe. And What do you do now? Try, now what I'm trying to do is kind of like step away and like kind of talk to myself honestly even if it's like say I'm saying talking crap I'm just saying it into the air I'm gonna keep it to myself and maybe like um try to pull down before I actually like say what I feel overwhelmed I noticed that I'm taking that as like what do you do when you're stressed I like to be around nature trees like I like to be out the city like yeah and write I like to write a lot when I'm in my feelings but being around trees, writing and, and smoking gap, yeah, but really being out of kind of the city or where my normal place is at. What do you think about the most? Um, what do you think about the most? Yeah, someone asked that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you think? Do you hear her? Oh my god, <laughs> Brianna's dog's like... What's your favorite food? <laughs> what um, do you like to eat? Sorry if I like lower guys, my knees were hurting. <laughs> My favorite food is a good rare steak and some good sides and some wine. 
If that would be my last, that would be my last meal. Yeah, I like that one. I like that. A steak? Yeah, I love steak. That's why I like when I, I can't like, I don't know, like I just, I need meat in my food, like chicken or something. I can't eat stuff that has no meat. Like babusas, sometimes I don't eat them because they don't have meat. <laughs> I like Italian food. I think that would be my favorite food. Find something to dislike plus like about each other. I got the same kind of question actually. Is it the same person? <laughs> <laughs> you want to answer them first? Here you go. What's one thing one of one of What is does? something you two dislike plus like about each other? <laughs> you go first. You go first. <laughs> you go first. Okay, I go first. Down. <laughs> Why is something you two dislike to put like about each other? It's crazy because the thing that I dislike about her is the thing that I kind of do like about her. But I feel like it could be done and di I don't know, okay, so let me just say My it. delivery is off. Yeah, so what is you to, well, okay, okay. This, like, let's start with the dislike first. Something I dislike is that my sister tends to throw in her two cents a lot. Like, for that sometimes it's, most times it's not needed. It's not warranted. She's very opinionated. And oh, how did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing I like about her is that she, she is outspoken. And if someone if someone if someone's being weird around us or someone's being like rude, I'm just the type to be like, I'm never gonna hang out with them. But we're never gonna hang out with them anymore. And Brianna's the type to tell them like, Hey, you're being fucking rude. Like, and I like that. So I feel like that kind of falls in the same area, in a way. So, that's my answer. <laughs> I feel like he was with me before. <laughs> or we can start with dislike, and then end it with <laughs> something. End it with the cherry on top. Okay. I kind of dislike is I feel like she's too, like, I don't want to say it. Like, she may be too, like, sensitive or, like, um, more softer, which is not a bad thing because that's funny how you say it because maybe I need to be that. But I've way. always been like that since I was a little girl. Yeah, so. <laughs> I would cry. So in sometimes I, I feel like. I <laughs> so sometimes I feel like I have to watch uh, what I say. Okay, so I'm sensitive. Yeah. Okay, so. what's one thing you like? Um, one thing I like is. I like how she'll do whatever she wants to do. She literally, yeah, like if she wants to do something, she'll do it. Like if she's, you know, if she sets her mind to something, she's gonna do it. So that's a good quality. So that's what I do like. All right. Okay. Um, that's a good question. Who said that? Lil. Why did I use it? <laughs> Lily Vanna. Lily Vanna. Lily Vanna underscore. He said, "Would you two like to be pregnant at the same time?" I mean, that would be cool. Yeah? <laughs> would you? No, I think that would be so cool. We would be like the Bella Twins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like them. them. <laughs> I like the Bella Twins. No, that would be the coolest fucking thing ever. Because then that would mean our children would be born like your own. Yeah. It's a no brainer. Um, okay, next question. I thought that question was cute though. Pizza. Fairy took vines off it. Who inspires your guys' style slash taste of wardrobe? Do you want to go first? <coughs> Who inspires my wardrobe or sense of style? Mm -hmm. Who's your inspo? I would say like anything like right now, probably like late 1990s, early 2000s. So I like blazers. But this year I'm trying to do more colors, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to step out of what I usually do, so. Okay. My inspo for style was definitely, um, I love uh, Princess Diana, how she dressed. Uh, Marilyn Monroe's one, Audrey Hepburn's another one. Um, and I like to mix that with kind of yeah, like suits. I like I like suit-like fits that look still feminine in a way. Um, I like so yeah, just like them. And Favorite quote and from who? 
Do I believe in love at first sight? No. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> That's don't. dumb. No, I would, no. I don't believe in love at first sight, but I do believe in love, true love. I believe in love at first sight. <laughs> I do believe everybody has that somebody that they're meant to be with. I'm, I, well, because when, when you, you say love at first sight, I think you're thinking like when you see them like bam, oh my god, I love them. Like, That's what it is! <laughs> <laughs> Feeling like, like, I'm kind of like you get intuition, <laughs> intuitions, like you can get like a feeling like that where it's like, why did I have that feeling at that moment? Like, I think it's a, it's a connection like that you have with someone. So I believe in love first sight as in when you meet someone, you can instantly feel like a like a, the first day, like a pull to each other or something or something where it's like, like, like you feel like connected with them in a way. I don't know. But I do believe that love first sight. <laughs> okay, no, I don't believe in this stuff. I still don't believe in it. No. Guys, right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q and A slash mood bomb. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.